debit card information from about 30 people. I check my account every single day, all day throughout the day. I have caught a lot of fraudulent on my account before. Police said to make sure this does not happen to you, feel around the outside and inside of that machine. Tonight, we have the winner of Goodwill's Drive to Victory. The past few months, New Center 7's Mike Hartsock has been introducing us to the high school marching bands going head-to-head -head each week. Their goal was to bring in the most donations, but only one could be crowned the winner. And the winner is Brookville for the third year in a row. The band collected over 48,000 pounds and three cars of donations. Our camera was there when the band got a big check for $1,000. The band director told us the money will be used to buy some new instruments. Some of our larger instruments that get shared are in rough shape, and it really this money just helps kind of upkeep the instruments that the whole school uses that everyone in the band can benefit from. Now listen to this. Brookville has won the last eight of 16 seasons. Over the years, the Goodwill Drive to Victory has collected almost 3 million pounds of donations. And now your Storm Center 7 forecast with Chief Meteorologist Austin Cheney. You know, I think at this point, average or where, yeah. we're right, where we need to be is just fun for yeah. a lot of folks. Well, it's going to feel a lot better than what we've been dealing with, and it's um, kind of crazy. You know, we've been telling you all week about this, uh, well, warm-up that's coming our way. Let's go. And it's going to feel better, but yeah, the warm-up is just normal. So here we go with the average high temperature for today in Dayton, 59 degrees. Obviously, we were nowhere near it today. We only got to about 48 to 50, depending on where you're at. Average low this time of year is around 40. As we go through the next several days, yes, we have a noticeable warm-up, but it just gets us back to around these numbers. Now, November, it's a month of change. Look at where we go by the end of the month. Typical high temperature is only 47 degrees. So as these days get shorter, yeah, you can expect more cold to keep showing up in our forecast. Out there right now, cold's the main thing we're tracking. We've got clear skies, and that means the temperatures are pretty quickly dropping off. Right now, we're at 44 degrees here in Dayton. But Urbana and Bell Fountain, Springfield already dropping into the 30s. We're also 39 degrees right now in Xenia. The actual temperature overnight is going to get down to around 35 degrees. And yes, that'd be cold enough in the morning, but we're still going to have that breeze. So the more important number is the wind chill. And yet again, we're waking up to feels like temperatures in the 20s tomorrow morning. You have to uh, grab those layers as you step outside. Big picture, though, shows a pattern that you would look for if you want warming temperatures. Here's what's happening. High pressure's down to our south. It's keeping us dry for now. The clockwise winds around it are drawing in more of that warmer air from the southwest. And tomorrow, we should start to notice it a bit. That chilly morning eventually gives way to temperatures in the upper 50s. That'll come with increasing clouds throughout the day and no rain. But there's still going to be that breeze tomorrow. So while we are warmer a light jacket, still necessary during the afternoon, just 57 and windy, still kind of on the cool side. Let's take a look at future cast for the day tomorrow. The main thing you notice, just some more clouds, especially by the end of the day. Northern part of the Miami Valley starts to see that by about 2 or 3, and then all of us by about sunset tomorrow night, but no rain. That means as you go out to those touchdown 7 football games tomorrow night, you can leave the poncho at home. Temperatures just dropping off into the 40s by the time those games wrap up. Running out your weekend, a couple changes to bring to your attention. Saturday, there is a sprinkle chance in there as a weak front sags in. No plan canceling rain, but note that you may see that. Otherwise, mostly cloudy and 60. Sunday, a little more sunshine, 61 degrees. You can see that on future cast. Nothing major coming through, but you may get a little blip of green showing up on the radar at times. Better rain chances hold off until Monday night, and then especially Tuesday and Wednesday. We'll have more on that as we go through the next several days. Here's your seven-day forecast. Tomorrow, just increasing clouds, especially late in the day, a high of 58. We're back in the low 60s for the weekend. Monday, 66 degrees. We should be able to enjoy that before some rain chances come in late in the day. And then we will track some more rain chances as well into Tuesday and Wednesday. Going back to Cincinnati this week, how is it going to feel returning to this stadium? I think it's going to be super electric. I think it's going to be nothing but love. And yeah, that's Buffalo Bills player DeMar Hamlin. He talked about playing on the same field where medics saved his life. 